All right, this is the JMI Moto Focus for a um, Mead LX200 GPS 10 inch Schmidt Casting Ring Telescope. I haven't opened it yet. Just came just a um, couple days ago and finally got a chance here to open it up. Um, this is the unboxing. And uh, let's see, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see, it says. Uh, MH and a uh, autofocus and uh, I got it from me uh, I got it from my uh, where did I get it what did I buy it from I bought it from uh, Astronomics and I think it was about $170 and uh, I'm a, me a member of Cloudy Night so I think I got a discount a few uh, maybe not quite $10 on it so that was that was good thank you very much Astronomics for that so here we go, we're going to unbox it. Alright, the box is open. Some paper work. Uh, let's see here. Um, directions, looks like. Alright. Oops, upside down. That's directions. Okay, whatever. Push on. Push on, motor focus for mead cast grains, right? And, um,. Let me here. Let me see what else we got in here. We got uh, that looks like the actual focuser. Um, okay. And uh, the end uh, is a looks like a three and a half millimeter uh, two uh, contact plug. That's some kind of an adapter. Plastic. Uh, there's the hand box the controller. Autofocus. Let's see here. Uh, got a slide. Slide. Oops. No, oh, maybe not a slide. Just a direction thing. And two buttons and plug in there. And looks like looks like you have to take the back off to put. A battery in, and I believe it takes a 9 volt battery, which I don't believe comes with it. Also included, a little bag here. Uh, let's see, it's got an Allen, it's an Allen wrench, uh, a couple of plastic screws, a couple of long metal screws, and I believe that's everything. All right. Okay, so I've got quite a tangle of wires here on the back of the telescope, but uh, this is the. Uh, this is the focuser knob, and you can see I've got the kind that's, uh, I don't know, maybe two and a half inches long, and it's got like three flat faces and three curved faces. It's pretty big. And uh, there's a little, as you can see it here, Allen head, and the instructions say to take that off. And the Allen wrench is part of that, so I'm going to do that. Okay, now I was wrong about the instructions. They don't say take that little Allen screw off. Um, and uh, it says uh, you take two of the three screws out that are holding the housing around the focus knob, and uh, then you put. Then it looks like you put this piece on with those. It has two screw holes there with those uh, long metal screws. That's right there. It shows right there. And uh, then uh, the so I plugged the plugged the hand box here into the focuser, and I'll show you what happens here. Let's see if I can do this. Prop that up there. And uh, so watch the focuser. Watch, there is a battery in there, by the way. I was wrong about that too. So I'm gonna there's slow speed and there's fast speed. Alright, and then uh, you go the opposite direction. Alright, there's fast speed. And then this button here, uh I don't know. Look the other There's only two positions. There's only two positions on this button. There's the other position. That's really slow speed. And then it goes to fast speed after like a couple seconds here. Let's see. 
one chimpanzee, two chimpanzee, three chimpanzee, uh, about three seconds. He goes to fast speed. So that's what I'm. Yeah, and then inside there, there's like a friction O ring. See it there? It looks like it slides right onto the onto the focus knob. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check that out just to see if it fits. See how the fit is. Oops. All right. So I'm getting this figured out. So this piece mounts the telescope, and you take out two screws on the focus housing, and then you put these two screws in these, those two holes, and that'll be like toward the outside of the telescope. And then this. This goes in here and it rotates, it'll go any any direction really, but they, there's two little grooves, that groove, that groove, and they say don't line those up with the this nylon screw, so you put, once that's attached to the telescope, this is how you attach the focuser, it pushes on, and I, I tested it out, it was pretty, it was pretty snug, it, um, it, it did definitely fit up, friction fit with the, the focuser knob, and then you tighten this little nylon uh, thumb screw, and they give you two of these. So, you know, if you break one, I guess and you tighten it up. So now this is this is a unit, and it stays together. And they say don't put the don't put the nylon thumb screw on one of those little slots. Uh, so, yeah, that looks like it'll work. Uh, Okay, so all that remains now is to go out and take when the two the two screws you're taking out with the uh, with the uh, Allen wrench, and I checked and it does fit, so everything's good. Come on. All right, now here's the two screws out, and here's the two I'm going to put in. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in length. Okay, now here's a difference that I just noticed. The um, the uh, two screws I took out, the two short ones, are Allen heads, but the two replacement screws are slotted. All right, simple slotted. They look like I don't know stainless steel material maybe. Uh, so yeah, you need you're gonna need a slotted screwdriver for this. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to apologize for the darkness of this situation, but all the flashlights I have are, of course, very dim, and, you know, I have red lighting going on. Anyway, uh, so the collar's on now, and uh, I got the both screws started, and uh, there's one there, and there's one uh, over here, and uh, got them both started, and uh, then snugged them both up, and uh, I'll notice two things. One thing is that the the collar here, this is, there's no gap, or very little gap, between the telescope and the collar. And the other thing I notice here, I can still turn the knob. Oh. Okay. So at this point, all I have to do is slide the, and uh, that's a good snug fit. Oh. Uh, So all I have to do is slide the focus around there and tighten up that little nylon thumb screw and I'll be done. Okay, it's all installed. I know it's hard to see. Uh, sorry about that. But it's all installed and it looks good and, you know, fitting, see, it, fits, it fits up real nice. It's all black. Goes with anything. And uh, I'm pushing the button. There it goes. I'm pushing the other opposite button. Alright, sounds good. No bad noises. So, all's well. Um, there we go. JMI Motofocus. It's MFMH, is the model number that I was dealing with. So, for the uh, Mead LX200 GPS, uh, 10 inch. And fits up just real nice. Only took a few minutes.